rising high as downtown Richmond's freshest symbol of an educational powerhouse. The new VCU School of Medicine building is already inspiring and educating a new generation of medical students. And so one of the things you notice when you first walk in is that lots of light, lots of energy, and everything kind of feels new. So I was very excited. VCU has created a new kind of curriculum that better prepares students for the challenges they will face as they dive into their medical careers. This new building provides the ultimate support structure for that curriculum. It had to be matched perfectly and we had to think about the future, uh, the long-term future of medical education and build a building that was flexible enough to work in uh, 2013 but also to work in 2113. The new building's learning studios and the large learning theater are equipped with high-tech computer and communication systems that will allow students to work together to discover the paths toward the treatment of diseases and injuries. Teamwork in a medical environment is extremely important and I'm very excited that we'll be um, implementing that into the new curriculum um, earlier on. Um, because I think that that will translate very well to um, the hospital setting when we'll be working with physicians and, and nurses and um, the other health staff. The innovation in uh, our uh, new curriculum uh, is uh, exemplified by the design of the space that we're standing in today. Uh, a learning theater, uh, not a lecture hall, but a space where collaborative learning can take place. Just a couple of floors up from the learning theater, medical students can now simulate just about any type of procedure. Exam rooms will be identical to what these future doctors will see in the hospitals where they will work. Intensive care units and surgical suites will mirror their real world experiences. For being a physician, experience is the name of the game, I think. Um, we get excellent tr classroom training. We have great textbooks, great um, resources to explore, but the experience in actually doing it is what really makes a difference. You read about so many topics and you, you feel like you have an understanding of it, and the second you're faced with it in real life, it's completely different. And I think being able to see it before you have to deal with the person, the actual patient, seeing a simulation, that helps you be a better physician. I really do think the, that the two simulation floors are going to be just critical to everything. The likeness of it to the hospital um, is it, crazy. You have your computer stations right outside of a standardized patient room, just like you would see in a hospital. That is, that is what we'll see in the hospital. That is what we're practicing with now. Those simulated experiences will all be recorded so students can review their performance and constantly refine the way they practice the art of medicine. It'll be a really critical new uh, tool to be able to watch where specifically you might slip up in an interview or um, physical exam um, and to be able to learn from others who you're not in the same room with or maybe on a different floor. VCU's rich history of producing tens of thousands of medical professionals for more than 175 years is depicted in a mural that was restored in time for the opening of this new building. Today, VCU and its supporters are building on that successful history. To know that people are investing in our future the way that they are. What an opportunity for new students to come in and experience this from the get-go and it's only going to get better as um, Time progresses and, and we learn how to best use the space that we have right now. This transformation in medical education begins right here, right now.